much bigger than them. It's an emblem of unity in a world that never rests. It's a moment of clarity in a warped reality, because our minds may be crumbling, but these walls will always be standing. So for one night alone, leave the world outside. The music is blaring, so don't you dare leave these precious moments behind. Because these sing-along songs are all I need to know, for as long as I have delinquents like you by my side. Sure, this place is filthy, but, of all, but think of all the adventures it's driven. And yes, the stains on the roof are still hard to explain. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just another sign that this building is well and truly lived in. You see, I can't help but laugh at the cider and boot prints sprawled all up and down these rugged walls. They're just another reason for us to stand tall and say, I actually survived this shithole. <laughs> Despite all the bad things about this humble abode, it means more to me than you may ever know. It represents everything I trust in and everything I love. And even when we go our separate ways, I'm certain that in our hearts will remain our memories from the days of the Palace of Christ. <laughs> everywhere in Aberdeen uh, so we can put any gigs on and we thought you know uh, we want to get out of Bedford which is where we were living before and uh, which is a hellish place so we thought if we get our own house and then make it somewhere that's suitable that we could put on some gigs then we could just do that and uh, we don't have to worry about venues taking us on or anything. I think the kind of venues we would like to play don't really want to put us on. I think there's, there's kind of a stig social stigma attached yeah. to our Music. We don't really help it though. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, really it's not bad though, really in general. Yeah. But uh, people don't really want to put us on, and um, I think the slightest provocation, though. Yeah, just like that. You know, that's I it. Mean, that's it. No but, more. Uh, you know, Which is where there was another type of music and another group of people that didn't look at it. Was, so we probably they just let it slide. <laughs>
like the shit, really just the shit things about living in Scotland, mainly, and the shit things about Britain. Yeah. 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 All of us are very anti-organised religion. Mm. Mm. Yeah, really, one really anti-religion. Uh, All religion. Yeah, like not just Christianity. Like, I think uh, only, yeah, only complaining about Christianity is really like a cop out. Like, if you're too afraid to. Uh, people are too afraid to take the piss out of other religions that they shouldn't be because it's all just a fact. Nice way to make mates because we've all got something to bond with, you know. As soon as we came in here, everyone was really nice to us and stuff. But whenever we played gigs before, with like sort of trendier sort of bands and everything, everyone kind of was a bit. We just felt out of place. Yeah. That's why I bought these top man trousers, and now I feel like a dick in a man. Place in there. <laughs> but that was an awful interview we did earlier, wasn't it? I talked about my top man trousers and other things. <laughs> they are as well. I just. I can't help it, man. They just, they look so fucking, they make me feel so grown up. And when I wear them outside, people want to have sex with me. Which doesn't happen very often. So I figure, I might as well go for it. The next step is to put nails in your chinos. Um, <clears throat> this is our last song. This is called, um, Victor Crowley. It's all getting documented for YouTube. Yeah. That's us getting political, it's not even that, it's just, uh, just a lot of soldiers see me see me yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I just don't like the whole thing, like, I just... Yeah. I know, just kind of fun. satisfying just being a spectator. I think it's like, um, once you embed yourself in something to such an extent, the necessary way to get uh, 
enjoyment out of it's actually participating in it. And like, I think I think one of the interesting things in, in Scotland, well, I mean in Glasgow in particular, in Scotland kind of generally, is you don't really get things that you get in other countries where you get a group of bands that all sound the same. It's almost like every band has got their own sound. Every band's kind of different. I mean. That, that's that's uh, good in some ways because you've got that individuality, um, but in other senses, every, I think every band in Scotland feels like an outsider. Yeah. Every, every band in Scotland feels like the last gang in town.
flying everywhere. And yeah, it's just like, it's a great feeling. It feels like a squad. It feels like, you know, the spirit of DIY embodied. <laughs> glamour alike, because I have a true story for all you lost children of the night. It begins with a palace that has no princess, and nothing to guide it except three unwise men. But believe me when I say that it is home to something much bigger than them. It's an emblem of unity in a world that never rests. It's a moment of clarity in a warped reality, because our minds may be crumbling, but these walls will always be standing. So for one night alone, leave the world outside. The music is blaring, so don't you dare leave these precious moments behind. Cause these sing-along songs are all I need to know, for as long as I have delinquents like you on my side. Sure, this place is filthy, but, a lot of, but think of all the adventures it's driven. And yes, the stains on the roof are still hard to explain. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just another sign that this building is well and truly lived in. You see, I can't help but laugh at the cider and boot prints sprawled all up and down these rugged walls. They're just another reason for us to stand tall and say, I actually survived this shithole. <laughs> <laughs> but despite all the bad things,
things about this humble abode. It means more to me than you may ever know. It represents everything I trust in and everything I love. And even when we go our separate ways, I'm certain that in our hearts will remain our memories from the days of the Palace of Christ. <laughs>